everyone. This is AI with Agents Graph. I'm in charge of consulting and implementation of Agents Graph here at Bit9. Today, I would like to walk you through of some examples and a data set that we used in Agents Graph to build a recommendation engine on top of it. To give you a little bit background on this application, our team developed and built a skill recommendation engine where users have the ability of search, browse, and analyze the different jobs among their skills and their supplements. The data set that we used while building this application is 60,000 in size and is included with information such as job class, job title, and location, and also more. For example, a user can search for a job that requires his set of skills and has a higher grade job market in his area. Another example can be, a, can be a, a user who is looking to join a specific company in a specific field. To give you a better understanding about this data set and Agents Graph, I will demo this on our visualization tool, Agents Browser, where you can have the ability to review the graph results and analyze it. In this demo, I'll be running five different queries and will show you the results. As you can see on this page, uh, this is our demo, where we have three different vertexes. We have skills, which is connected to the job and supplements. And also, we have job, which at the same time um, requires some sets of skills, and also is supplemented by um, this specific uh, supplements, which you, which you will see uh, in our examples. So to move on, uh, we will run our first query. In this query, we have Sarah, who is an engineer and is looking to find a job in that field as, at Google. But she doesn't know what skills she might need exactly to be an engineer at Google. So by running this query, she is able to look at this information in more details. So by running this query, and by changing the layout. And uh, to give it better, a little bit better coloring maybe, to uh, specify them and we can differentiate them here. We can choose from different properties. In this example, we can choose a job title for the um, jobs and for skills to show their specific names, we can choose their IDs. So if I zoom in here, you will see that Sarah has the opportunity to become a technical program manager, or she can be a mechanical engineer, or also research scientist at Google. And to become um, a good engineer or any of the job titles, she will need a specific skills. For example, to become a technical programmer, she will need to have a skills of C programming or Python programming or she needs to know about algorithm. Now, if you move on to our next query, in this example, we have Chris, who is skilled in cipher and data science, and is looking to see what possible job opportunities he can have by having these skills. And uh, I ran this query, and I prepared it for you. So by running this query, we will see our results so one of the job titles is a data scientist lead. And to become a data scientist lead, Chris will need uh, to have the skills. He needs to know Java, um, ability to work with GitHub and know Git. And also, um, he, um, it's good or he should have the Python language as well. And also, uh, there are some of the supplements, which is a different job which, which their skills can supplement uh, Chris to become a better uh, data scientist in this field. In our next example, which I highlighted it here, we have Adam, who lives in San Diego and is an application developer, and he's looking for the skill set that he needs to become a great engineer. As you can see in this example, 
There is application developer, which is Chris uh, is already working in that field. And these are all the skills that he, he needs in that uh, specific job. But to give the user or to Chris more insight, we can always check to see if the city is um, San Diego, which we wanted it at the first time. So as you can see, in San Diego, to be application developer, we need all the skills. Now, our next query. We have Katie, who has a cloud skills and is looking for jobs related to her skills, but outside of the California. So by running this query, we will have this um, results. And if we zoom in, we can see that there is a cloud skill and all the engineering or any other job that is related to that cloud skill and gives the ability to uh, be able to um, sign up for that job or like have that job. Now, to look at uh, more detail for this query, uh, because we mentioned and we wanted to see what other uh, states Katie is able to find job, we can change this property to the state. And as you can see, there's a different state that Katie has opportunity which is Texas, it can be New York, it can be um, Arizona, New Jersey, and uh, all other skills. And in our last query, we have Mike, who is just browsing and searching for any job opportunity among their skills and their supplements. So by running this query, We will see that we have a three-degree relationship among our job class, then our supplement, and our skills. So to give you more insight, we can zoom in, and we can see that under the job class engineer, there's a possibility to become a QA engineer. And also, there's required skills, which is testing. And another example can be um, software developer class. To become a careness developer, they need to have a development uh, skills and uh, all other examples here. That, uh, that was my last example. And uh, as you can see, and as you experience, for having a, um, with having a graph model, you can have a better insight and you can find uh, better information among your data set and data. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.